France has witnessed the third night of chaos riots continue across the country after a series of criticism. French President Emmanuel Macron came up with a string of suggestions and announcements after he conducted another round of crisis meetings. With his leaders, Macron called on parents to keep their children off the streets. He claimed around 875 people are arrested overnight for the rioting. Macron added that around a third of that number are young or very young. He also said additional security forces will be deployed to control the nationwide unrest as he denounced the unacceptable exploitation of a death of an adolescent. Macron urges social media platform to work with authorities to help calm the situation. In the next hours, we will take measures and we have started taking measures in the coordination with these platforms to remove the most sensitive content. The state services are working in coordination with these platforms to obtain an effective response and I expect these platforms to have a spirit of responsibility. Meanwhile, the situation in France is escalating. On Tuesday, a police officer fatally shot a 17-year-old teenager. Protesters are torching vehicles, town halls across the country as well. Visuals coming from Paris show the complete devastation of the city center. In the Parisian suburb of Aubour Villers, fireworks were set off and a swimming pool construction site was set ablaze as well. The company in charge of the Olympic Games for Paris 2024 said that the facade of a Paris Olympics a training center was damaged during rioting. French authorities are saying that they are assuring more security for other Olympic sites as well. Take a listen. Similarly, on the streets of Auber Wheelers, charred buses were lined up. Hundreds of police officers were injured in the chaos. In Paris, angry mob attacked a Nike store. Online footage shows huge crowds of protesters attempting to break into the Nike sports bra shop in central Paris.